Hello Casey, here is the lesson for Tuesday. Um, if you pause the video and complete the 10 do now questions, these are similar, uh, same skills that were on the um, skills check homework. If you could email that homework over to me, a photo of it, that would be brilliant. Thank you. Um, so pause the video, have a go at these 10, and then when you're ready, play. Okay, so the answers are I think perhaps the only real tricky one on there is this meter squared um, question. Uh, but as always, I draw out one meter by one meter same kind of thing but we're going to say 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters and then we can see these areas are um, identical and this one is 10,000 centimeters squared okay so here's the challenge to the do now um, this is similar to the previous lesson challenge. So if you feel able to pause it, give it a go and I'll talk you through it in a moment. If you are stuck, you're not sure, then um, I'll talk you through it. And then there is a, a second challenge like this um, to practice this skill as well. So these are your answers, um, where they come from is um, looking at these, we've got this equation, y equals pq to the power of x. It's an exponential equation. So I'm gonna start with this. This is like an x, y, and this is an x, y. So I, I get two equations, um, y, so 405 is equal to p times q to the power of four. I've just substituted in x and y into this equation down here. I'm going to do the same with these coordinates. So uh, y is 5 when x is 0. So 5 equals p times q to the 0. Um, this one over here, we can't do, um, over here, we can't do an awful lot with that. We can't solve that as it stands because we've got two unknowns. Um, and a single equation. So um, there are infinite possible answers. Um, but if I come over to this one, it's quite useful because q to the power of zero is equal to one. So this tells me that five is equal to p, p times one. So as soon as I've got that, I can bring that over here and I can substitute it in. 405 is equal to five times q to the four. Uh, divide both sides by 5, we get 81 is equal to q to the 4. And then we want the fourth root of 81, which is q. Um, and the fourth root of 81 is 3. If you think um, uh, 3 squared is 9 times by 3 squared, 9 times 9 is 81. So 3 to the power of 4 is 81, so the fourth root of 81 is 3. So these are those two values. And then here we're given um, when x is 2, basically work out what y is, k is. So k is equal to p times q, if we work those out, 5 times 3 um, to the power x, and here x is 2. So k is equal to 5 times 9, equal 45. Okay, so have a go. This is a, another practice question um, like the last one. Um, but here, instead of y and x, we've got on our y axis, we've got v, the value of the car. And on our x axis, we've got t for time. So you can look at this equation down here and basically read this almost as y equals pq to the power of x. This is pretty much what you're going to do. Pause the video, have a go. Um, if you need a hint, write down what these coordinates are. So 
So this would be when time is zero, or x or t is zero, then y or v is 1600. So you use those coordinates in that equation. And hopefully you've got the answers. Uh, P is 1600, Q is 0 0.5. So again here, just working through that, V equals PQ to the T. If we take this uh, uh, first one here, uh, so 1600 is equal to P times Q to the power 0. Anything to the power 0 is 1, so 1600 is equal to P. Then we're going to use this set of coordinates here. Uh, the Y value or V is 400. That's equal to P times Q squared. Uh, we've already worked out that P is 1600. So 400 is equal to 1600 Q squared. Divide by 1600 and we get 1 quarter is equal to Q squared. Square root of 1 quarter is 1 half. So 1 half is equal to Q. And... Um, you could argue plus or minus q when you're square rooting. We would consider a plus or minus, um, and we. But here we're told that q is a positive constant, so we can ignore the minus. Okay. So just a reminder from um, previous lesson: the equation of a circle is given by x squared plus y squared equals r squared. We worked out x squared plus y squared equals 100 and we plotted all of our points. Um, when we had 100 in here, we had uh, it crossed at 10, 10, minus 10, minus 10. So now if you pause this and uh, I think we've marked this last lesson, um, you write in the equation here and draw the circle um, on each of these. Pause it and then... Um, we'll check your answers. Okay, so when you're ready, we've got this is x squared plus y squared equals 1. This one would be a circle going through th at 3 all the way around. This one would be x squared plus y squared equals 16. This one is a circle crossing at 8 and minus 8. This one, x squared plus y squared is 100, and this one, a circle crossing at 6 and minus 6. So for this one, you need to pause the slide and then match up the um, circle to each of these equations. Effectively, just rearrange the equations below into the form x squared plus y squared equals r squared, and then match them up. So pause the video now. There's our answers. Reasonably straightforward rearrangement, hopefully. Okay, next task. So I'm going to have a look at these, um, some slightly worded questions, still just using um, that x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Uh, state the value of y at the point where the circle crosses the positive y axis. So again, this, this uh, equation would just cross at 8, 8, minus 8, minus 8. So the value of y, where it crosses the positive axis, is that one there, is 8. Radius of the circle here was just a square root of 225, which is 15. Diameter of the circle here, so first of all, let's consider x squared plus y squared equals 6 squared here. So the radius is 6, so the diameter is 12. This last one is uh, where people got um, a little bit, found it a little bit trickier. Um, think of your equation here, and this means the radius of the circle is going to be 4. So 4, 4, minus 4, minus 4. So if we look at this one here, a0, we're trying to find the x coordinates that give y a zero. So y is zero here and here on the circle. Um, 
so just a is a is plus or minus four we're looking at these purple bits so uh, and then uh, so purple blue uh, and then looking at the next one oh there we go uh, that's zero as well that's the y coordinate is zero on both of them so um, a and b are plus and minus four one's positive one's negative okay your turn have a go at those ones you'll get the answer seven on the first one a radius circle is eight diameter of the circle with radius is 10 so the diameter is 20 and for this one again we've got y is zero uh, on both of these so it's going to be plus and 11 and minus 11 for a and b um, this check it worksheet 30 questions very similar to that very quick fire um, pause the video jot down your answers um, don't spend too long on these though so 30 questions and then the answers to follow Questions 11 to 20. And question 21 to 30. And then your answers. Okay, um, next exercise we're looking at missing coordinates. And um, so we've got a, a circle here, and we're given the coordinate, these coordinates. Of a point on the circle and then we're given another pair of coordinates where we're just given the x coordinate and we need to work out the y coordinate so if we start with this one we can see it's a circle so it's going to be x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared and we're given here this radius must be 8 because my x coordinate is 8 so equals um, 64 and then we want to work out what y is so here we're told x is minus 3 at that point i'm trying to work out y so just plug it into the equation so x is minus 3 so we've got minus 3 squared plus y squared equals 64 um, so that's 9 minus 3 times minus 3 so 9 plus y squared equals 64 and subtract the 9 we get y squared equals 55 so y is plus or minus the square root of 55. Now when we look at this coordinate we can see that we've come back to negative 3 and the y coordinate corresponding to that negative 3 is here or down here is another one but the one that we're interested in that's been marked off is this positive one so this one for us is the positive square root of 55. You could leave it in third form like that um, or evaluate, um, I think it's like 7.1 or something. I'll just leave it in the set form. Okay. That's an example. So, first one is done. So, you have a go at the others. I'm just try and find those answers. when you're done with that uh, this is the more challenging exam question um, pause it and see what you can do with it um, the key things that you need to know are um, 
Well, read it, have a go at it, and then um, I'll give you a hint. So my hint here is you're going to draw in um, the x coordinate of p is equal to 1. And uh, if we drop that down there, that's going to be a right angle. Something else that is good to know here is that the radius here of the circle will meet this tangent. So my tangent is a line that just touches that circle and the radius and the tangent meet at 90 degrees. So what you really need to be doing here is you need to be, um, first of all, work out the coordinates of P. So X is one, figure out what the coordinate is for Y. Then if you find the gradient of OP, you can use that to tell you, the gr to find the gradient of the line PQ. Uh, because these are perpendicular, so their gradients will be negative reciprocals. Flip it over, change the sign. When you've got the gradient of PQ and you've worked out the coordinates of the point on PQ, you can write down or work out the equation of the line PQ. Once you've got the equation of the line, Q is the point when Y equals zero. But y equals zero, work out x, and that will tell you the coordinates of q. Okay, once you've um, had a good go at that, the answers are on the next slide. There we go. And that's the end of the lesson. Well done if you got through that. Thank you.